Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Ali and welcome to Coding Cafe. So now in this video tutorial we will be working on delete post and edit post. That is when a user click on any post from the main page or you can say on the home activity on this this is a basically our home activity when a user click on any post let's say when I click on this post then it will send me to another activity and from there we will allow a user to delete that post and to edit this post okay so first of all we have to create uh, an activity for that so let's create one so go to the Android studio and here I will click new and activity empty activity and let's call this as uh, click post activity click post activity now click finish and now go to the dot xml file which is our activity click post dot xml file the activity which we created okay so wait for it once it complete the loading then we will start work on our click post activity xml file so click on text and let's change this constant layout to relative layout and now we have we need a uh, image view to display that post image here and then we will add the description of that post and then a delete button and edit post button so here we will basically design a layout for our uh, click post activity which will be basically we will be basically allowing a user to edit his post and to delete his post so we need an image view here so we can simply write here image view and this one drag and drop this image view here and here we need to uh, give it a source okay so here you can simply write image and this is our select image if you remember this is already in the drawable folder so click ok and this is our image view so let's move this to the top here and let's design this little bit so from all side it should be 20 dp okay not 20 let's say 10 dp will be good and the layout height should be 400 dp okay so now it is look good and we need a description we have to retrieve the description for the post on which the user click so we will change the layout height for it to 300 dp and now we will simply from here we will select a text line a multi text line to display the okay sorry not this uh, we need a text view here okay so drag and drop a text view here and it should be match parent okay the width should be match parent and here we can simply display the post description for that post on which the user click and then we will add button once we add this so this is our post description and now we need two buttons so here I will simply write button and drag and drop this button here okay and then we need another button to delete the post so let's change the text of this button to delete post and for this one this will be our button to edit the post so we can say edit post and let's move these two buttons and then this one also to the bottom and it should be from the bottom it should be 2dp up from the delete button delete post button and yeah now this one should also be 2dp from the bottom so yeah there let's see that is good now let's design the post description text view so here I will simply write text and click on this view viewer properties and uh, text size for it should be 16 
TP 16 SP and it should be at the okay not at the center it should be like that and then we need to go here to the from the left it should be 10 dp and from the right it should be 10 dp and then we have over these two buttons so from the left it should be 10 dp from the right it should be 10 dp and then the delete post button so we can set 10 from the right 10 from the left yeah that's it and now let's go to the text and here we will uh, simply give it a background to our this whole activity so we can simply say Android background and that will be our register page color okay which we use on our register activity you can see that okay so now the next thing is to uh, to design these buttons so here we can say background Android background and this is our button okay this one so you can see that and then here we can say button sorry Android background which is our background and button so yeah that's it and now let's come here let's move these buttons now to the from the bottom it should be 10 dp and also this button should be 10 dp from the bottom and now we have our this uh, description post description so let's design that also so let's make it bold and the color for it will be white which is our background light color click ok and the color for our buttons will also be white and also for the delete button okay first of all let's make it bold and let's change the text size to 18 sp and then for the delete post button let's change it to 18 make it bold and let's give it a color background light so yeah that's it and now we are going to give some padding to our this post description so here we can say padding and padding from all the sides should be 13 dp yeah that's it so now let's assign uh, ids to these so this is our post image and then we have a post description and then we have edit post button so we can call it edit underscore post underscore button and then delete post button delete underscore post underscore button let's cast this button on our click post activity dot java file so here we can say private so first of all we have an image view so we can say image view and we have to call it as post image then we have a text view to display the post description so we can call it post description and then we have the two buttons so we can call it as delete post button comma and the second one is the edit post button so yeah that's it and now inside our own create method we can say post image equals to image oh sorry post image equals to image view find view by id or dot id dot post post image let me check that again it is our post image ok 
okay and the, the next one is our post description so you can say post description equals to text view find view by id or dot id dot post description then we have our delete button so we can say delete post button equals to button find view by id delete post button and let's copy this button and we will change it for the edit button so yeah that's it for this video in this video we just designed the click post activity and we cast and initialize these buttons and edit text fields here now in the next video what we will be doing that is we will just get the post id that is on which post the user click we will basically get the unique id of that post like this one and all these are the post ids so we will get the id of that post and then we will allow the user to edit a post and to delete a post so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now